All right, so in that last one, we created an activation key using hash lib. This activation key is gonna be useful for us, and now what we need to do is actually create the view to handle the activation process itself. Because we can send out the email, but we need to create a view that handles this URL that is basically sent back, which is called a callback URL for this user. So let's go ahead and open up our views on accounts, and underneath registration view, we're gonna go define activation view. It's gonna take in a request, and it's also gonna take in an activation key, which we'll have to set up in our URLs. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give us some space here. All right, and do render, return render, and just request, and let's say accounts slash activation complete dot html and it'll take in a context so that context we'll just leave it as an empty dictionary for now okay so first off we need to actually check whether or not this activation key fits in the realm of the um, hash lib that we created now luckily it, there is a regular expression that we can just use so i'm going to actually go to the very top here and import RE, which stands for a regular expression. And I'm just gonna set one, and it's SHA1 underscore RE. So this is the hash library that we used, and then our underscore RE would be the regular expression that we're creating, and that's RE compile, and the caret, it's gonna be A to F, zero to nine and then 40 and a dollar sign all right so this was created for us this is some regular expression regular expressions can get a little complicated so i'm going to leave out on how to actually form regular expressions um, if you want to know more about the regular expressions itself go on codingforentrepreneurs.com suggest and suggest a project for that or shoot us an email um, otherwise, we now have this regular expression, so we can actually use it to check our activation key. So first off, I'm going to do is SHA1.search and activation key. So all this is doing right here is checking whether or not our activation key actually fits with this search. Um, so let's before we get any further, I am going to create the URL to actually do this. So let's go and find our URLs. And the URL, if we look back at our models, we already started doing a URL. So let's go ahead and just copy this right here and go into URLs. URL R. And then we'll put our activation key here. And that's going to be accounts.views.activation view and name activation view put a comma at the end and let's get rid of this first slash so we need to actually create um, a variable just like what we did up here so we can just go ahead and copy one of these i'm going to copy the add to cart one but instead of um, the minus and plus i'm just going to do slash w just like that um, so this right here, again, is coming from Django registration. So we're just using their URLs because it's something that works. And like I said, it works well. Um, but we're just modifying it in a way that actually works for our project. Now, of course, this needs to be a different name than slug. So if we go into views, it's going to be activation key here. So URLs, activation key. All right. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go in here and just type out accounts, activate, and some list of numbers, up oh, or a list of items here. And view does not exist, so let's go ahead and check out why. Activation view, I believe that's the name of the view that we set. 
and it is if anything it should be saying the template does not exist not the view accounts.views that activation view that looks right let's try that again do a, just a little refresh in here and invalid syntax line 55 in our views up oh, two returns should be return render not return return all right so we refresh in here again and now it should say template does not exist that's good uh, but we did print out and it says none so it's printing out the activation key or the fake activation key that i wrote in here which says none so it's saying that it's actually an error all right well that's good let's actually grab an activation key that works so i'm going to copy the one that we created just a moment ago or in the last video and then go ahead and hit enter here and now it says that there's a match great so that's a good sign right so that means that we have our activation key that actually works and if somebody enters one that is not an activation key uh, it's going to say none so that's one check that it's going to do that's correct so now we have if this is real so if that is an actual activation key then we're going to actually be able to do some stuff here so uh, print activation key is real all right and let's go ahead and create the activation complete HTML right now so I'm going to copy this and go into our accounts go to new file save it account activation complete extends base.html and then block content all right so now we've got our url for it do a refresh with our act activation key uh, it says activation complete this is not the right activation key though so let's actually go back to the right activation key and there we go so let's actually change our context and go in here what we actually want to do is first we're going to check to make sure that this is real if it is real then we'll return a render to response else we'll raise an http 404 which I'm going to have to import this into our, from our shortcuts. So now if we have, um, let's do a refresh in here. Activation key complete or activation complete. If I do another one, it's going to say page not found, which is good. That's what we want to see. Um, and then now in here, we need to actually check our model to see if that activation is there. So let's go into our models. We need to import email confirmed. So back into our view we're going to go down here and do from dot models import email confirmed and now we'll do try uh, user confirmed equals to um, email confirmed objects get activation key equals activation key and then we're going to do an exception here and we're going to accept email confirmed does not exist does not exist then we are going to raise a 404 again And I'll say user confirmed equals to none. And then if user confirmed, so if the user confirm is not none, basically, we can just say is not none. If user confirmed is not none, then we'll say, you, oh, actually, if user confirm is not none and not user confirmed dot is confirmed or well actually let's go back into our model to see what it is or just it's just confirmed so models is 
So if it's not none and it's not confirmed, then we want to change the user confirmed dot confirmed equals to true. And then user confirmed dot save. Else we want to do else if user confirmed is not none and user confirmed is confirmed. So the user is confirmed. Then we would want to say some message. So I'm just going to write print already confirmed. And then else we'll just do pass. Uh, because if the user is none, then it's likely not going to raise anything. And the context here, then we would change how the context is going to be. Um, so now we can actually just go ahead and confirm that user. And up here, I'm going to do print user has been confirmed. Um, so I'm going to make it a little less confusing. I'm going to just change this to being user or actually better yet instance. And change this to instance this just so it's like when we look at it later, um, it's just a little bit easier to understand what was going on. So instance being, of course, the email confirmed instance. And then if it's confirmed, then the user has been confirmed. If it's not, then so on and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and actually confirm this email. Going back into Chrome and we click on this, hit enter. It says activation complete. Look in terminal, user has been confirmed. Activation key is real. Very good. Let's look into our admin here to make sure, oh, actually I could just refresh this one. Do a refresh in here and now we've got it confirmed. That's great. And actually what I'm going to do, if it's confirmed, I'll do if instance.confirmed. Actually, I'm going to just leave this out. And now that it's confirmed, I'll just change instance dot activation key equals to confirmed. So now the activation key, we can't, we, there's no real reason for us to already to keep on activating it. Um, and then now in already confirmed, this would probably be the, maybe the message on stage. So um, just page message. And then for confirmed, we would say page message, you have been, or maybe confirmation successful. Confirmation successful, welcome. Okay, so page message and then else we would just put it as nothing. And now our context will be page message. All right, and now in our template, we can put this page message in there. So now instead of activation complete, we put our page message and going back into our activation, let's go back. It says already confirmed and that's gonna be here. Great, so that means that we now have our confirmation and all that stuff's working. So let's actually do the entire step or the whole entire process from registering all the way back down to activating. So I'm gonna go back into home and delete that last user, ABC, go ahead and delete it, go yes, I'm sure. And then let's go back into accounts and register here, ABC, coding for entrepreneurs, 123, 123 join and it's loading and it looks like it loaded so let's go ahead and open up that email bring that over and i'm going to go ahead and click on it and here we go confirmation successful welcome all right cool so let's go into admin let's just double check it again so we go into user stripes should only have two in here First one is ABC, perfect. And then 
email confirmed. We have a true one, which would be the one we just confirmed. Activation key goes away because this person has already been confirmed. So that works. Um, and yeah, so that is it. We created our email registration and all that. Now there's something that we want to do for our like actual register page and then also our login page. We want to add some redirects in uh, because right now they don't redirect. They don't do anything. They just sit there, right? So it, it just sits there. And notice I just logged in and we've got something going where it says views can has no attribute activate user email. So let's see what's going on here. Signals. Um, And let's see where it's actually coming. Login view, line 23. Views, login view, line 23. This right here, we do not want that anymore because we had that before, but that's actually no longer the instance method and we no longer need to do that on login. All right, so that's it. That's doing registration. We've got our email set up. We've got all this stuff set up. Uh, there is a few more things that we do need to clean up, which is uh, the what happens after they submit a form. We'll clean that up, and then we'll also clean up how uh, the message comes through this right here so it's a little bit more dynamic than what it currently is. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.